don't know why, but every time I come here, that gate is closed. And um, you simply have to walk around the gate um, to get here. And it's one of the most interesting parts of this place. So I don't understand. This area is usually used by people who want to um, get their sea to or their boats here. But um, I don't know why they have to close it. Here's something quite interesting. There are pine trees over here in this island. I suppose many of you wouldn't expect to see pine trees in a tropical place like this. Uh, but here they are. And look over there. That's the structure that I was mentioning you guys in a previous video of some buildings or homes created for people who had leprosy. So we're going to go inside now to see how they are and what's left of them. Okay, what you're seeing on my right is a bunker that was used to defend the island in case Puerto Rico were to be attacked by the uh, Nazis. And in a way, as I mentioned in a previous video too, uh, we were. Actually, more than 300 ships were destroyed by the Nazis in the Caribbean and the Atlantic. Somebody, someone created some artwork over there. As you can see, but I'm going to show you guys now some pictures that I found on the web of this place. There are two of these bunkers, and both of them had huge cannons pointing out towards here, the ocean, in case the Nazis were to come here to Puerto Rico and do their shit. Okay, so you can't park your car right in front of this beautiful area. Look at this. Look at this, and look at the view over there of El Morro. Look at the waves. One of my first videos on this channel actually was here, uh, but I was using a very bad drone. I didn't have an action camera. It was very jumpy, the footage. It looked horrible. Um, so, some guy told me in my job, do a video over here of Isla de Cabres. It's interesting over there. There's so much, so much history. Um, so here I am. I'm gonna fly my drone towards that structure over there of the ship, over this area. Look at the beach over here, it's quite wavy. But here are the structures that were built by the Spanish. And one of them is still standing. So you can see how it is inside. But as I mentioned, these were built for people who had leprosy to stay away from uh, people who were, of course, healthy. Okay, so I'm, now I'm headed to where the guns were. And I think this is the area where the big guns were located. You can see there's a structure up ahead on the right. And uh, I think that's the one that I'm showing you guys now in the picture. What's left of it is the round things. Now what happened to those guns? I got no idea. I'm pretty sure they were just simply 
thrown into maybe scrap metal. But um, I'm gonna show you guys that. We have a lot of metal over here. Even though that during the Spanish American War, uh, the Spanish did have metal ships. I thought they had only wooden ships, but they had metal ships. And um, still, sometimes they won for what I read, but they were simply outgunned. And there's another one over there, I think, up ahead. Wow, the waves over here are big. Look at that. this cool trail here nice it's a little ladder over here stairs ladder Made if iguana. Those poles right there on the rocks are for people who want to go fishing and put their poles there. I don't know, I wouldn't put them there, it's too dangerous. If you were to fall in the water here, you will be uh, dragged away by the ocean or by the waves, you know? It's simply too dangerous. Look at the ship over there. <laughs> 